unto, unto the king, Truth, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see how many forming loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they had no hurt, and you will have no hurt, and I will have no hurt, and we as a church will have no hurt, because the force, the form of the force, is like the Son of God. That's Emmanuel, God with us. His name shall be called Emmanuel. Because in the midst of the fairy furnace, he'll be with us. In the midst of the fire, he'll be with us. In the midst of the trouble, he'll be with us. In the midst of the trial, he'll be with us. In the midst of the sickness, he'll be with us. In the midst of the affliction, he will be with us in Jesus' name. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. Verse 26, then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the body for the and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of who? I thought you said, where is that God? He discovered where that God is. God is seated on the throne. And God is seated in glory and majesty and power. And God is able to protect us all. And when he finishes protecting us, protecting you and protecting me and, and prote protecting the church, they will confess with their mouth that we are the children and the servants of the Most High God. Ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire and the princes and the governors and the captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power nor was an air of them seen a singe neither were their course changed nor the smell of fire passed on them then the Nebuchadnezzar spake and said Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word. They didn't change the word of God, they changed the word of Nebuchadnezzar. They didn't change their Bible, they didn't modify the doctrine. They didn't change to please the people of the world. But they changed the word of the king of Nebuchadnezzar. And they yielded their bodies. That they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people and nation and language which speak, which shall speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be caught in pieces and the houses shall be made a don't heal because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. That God is still alive, he'll deliver you in Jesus' name. We're looking at Psalm 91. Psalm 91, we see the promise the Lord has made and we see the manifold preservation and the marvelous preservation even in the hour of peril. Psalm 91, I read from verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's what the Lord is calling you. Come under that shadow. If you are not born again yet, come. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess your sins to the Lord. Let Him forgive you. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash you whiter than snow. And then you come under the protection of the Almighty. If you have been a backslider, you were saved before. But now you have gone back into adultery and fornication, smoking and drinking, stealing from the office, or stealing from other people. The Lord is calling you that Perilous times are here. Painful times are here. Difficult, dangerous times in the world at this time. 
And the only people that are going to escape are the people that have come out of their sin. And they come out of the fury of the judgment that's about to fall. And you come under the protection of Calvary. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be restored. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. If you are saved, if you are forsaking your sin, if you have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, if you allow Calvary to cover you, protect you, then it says you'll be able, you'll have protection from the snow of the Father. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. We're going to read that again. A thousand shall fall by my side. And ten thousand by my right hand, but it shall not come near me. It shall not come near me. If you are saved, if you are saved, if you are saved, if you are born again, if you are free from sin, if the blood of Jesus has washed you whiter than snow, if you are abiding in the Lord and the word of God is abiding in you, if you are abiding and residing. In the secret place of the Most High, a thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou see, and behold the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. But check up, check up, check up, check up if you are abiding in the Lord. Sage. Sins forgiven. Transformed and changed. Because that's the condition. Then it says, it goes on in verse, in verse, in verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thy feet. And then it says, Because thou hast set, he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer. Tonight, God will answer your prayer. When you call upon the Lord with a true heart, when you call upon the Lord from a repentant heart, when you call upon the Lord with a humble heart, He says, He shall call upon me and I will answer. I will set Him on high because He has known my name. And then He says, I will deliver Him and I will honor Him. I will be with Him in trouble. And now it says, and with, verse 16, and with, that's a preserved man, a preserved woman, that's a preserved child of God, you will not die before your time. With long life will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. I want to tell you, we have power for this painful hour. We have power for this perilous hour. And the moment you call upon the Lord and say, Yes, Lord, I give myself to you. And I bring myself under the protection of the blood of the Lamb. The protection of the Lord, the preservation of the Lord, and the power of the Lord will work mightily for you in Jesus' name. We're going to rise up now. We're going to pray to the Lord. Begin the retreat of prayer. 
begin this retreat with a serious mind. Begin this retreat with a committed heart, a consecrated heart, saying, Oh Lord, I came for power for this perilous hour. We're going to make this retreat a different kind of retreat. By the kind of prayer we pray and the kind of power that comes upon our lives. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. If you are not born again yet, you know. If you're still living in sin, you know. If you're a backslider, you know. If you're still following after the devil, yielding to temptation, you know. You want to come to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And hand over your life completely unto the Lord. And say, Lord, here am I. I yield, I surrender my life unto you. And then the power for your hour. Preservation for your hour. Protection for your hour. Adequate abundant provision for your hour. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let this retreat be a retreat of restoration. A retreat of salvation. A retreat of revival. A retreat of renewal. And whatever it is, you lie that will expose you to the enemy. Expose you to the peril and the dangers of the hour. Confess and forsake. Don't think about other people just between you and the Lord today. As your relationship with the Lord, are you like the people of the world? Ah, you expose yourself to the danger and the peril in this perilous hour. Sinning like they are sinning. Stealing like they are stealing. Committing adultery that they are committing adultery. Being occultic that they are occultic. You expose yourself to the peril, the danger. Of this present hour. Call upon the name of the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Between you and the Lord, right there, reconcile with the Lord. Confess your sin, forsake your sin, and come out free. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For the seed of God abides in him. And he will not sin, he cannot sin. He keeps himself. And that wicked one touches him not. Don't be like the people that have a form of godliness. But deny the power thereof. Call upon the Lord and say, Lord, I'll come out clean. Wash me, Lord, whiter than snow. Make me different. Let your salvation make me different. Let the regeneration, conversion, Make me different. The desire to see, take it away from me. And the desire to be like other people, unbelieving, sinful, carnal, worldly, take it away from me. Let me bold and courageous, fearless against sin, against temptation. Bring me under the canopy and the cover. 
of your sustaining grace. Lord, make this retreat the turning point in my life. New life, pure life, holy life, righteous life. Lord, make this retreat the turning point in my life. Take all the fear of men away from me. All the fear of persecution. Take it away from me. The fear that makes me to forget the word of God. And to bench and to bow. To the new cognizance of this world. Take that fear away from me. And Lord, make me strong, very courageous, and give me the grace to be obedient to your word. And grant me the power for this hour. The power for this hour. The power for this present hour. Cleanse me. Wash me. Give me a clean heart. A clean conscience, a victorious life, life that is built on the solid rock of your world. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to stand. Help me, Lord. Remain faithful against temptation. Faithful against the threats of the enemy. Like shade rock, me shock, and I beg me go. Never, never bend in the knee. Bowing to the wishes of me, thereby forsaking the Lord. Grant me the power for the present hour. Power for the present hour. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Come to Jesus. Turn away from sin. Receive Him as your Savior, as your Lord. So the Cadenza will not be your Lord. Pharaoh will not be your Lord. Herod will not be your Lord. The Pharisees and the Sadducees and the doubters and the unbelievers will not be your Lord. But Jesus and Jesus only will be your Savior and your Lord. And receive the courage for the hour, the boldness for the hour, strength. For the hour, power for the hour. So you'll not be the cringing church goer. The sliding church goer. 
It was right for me to praise your God. Little opposition for Pharisees and Sadducees, your God. Be a man of conviction. Be a woman of conviction. Born again. Stage. Steadfast. Solidly standing on the rock of ages. So the winds in the world, the waves of the ocean. Will not terrify you or turn you back. Power for the hour. This present hour. This painful hour. This perilous hour. The power to remain courageous, steadfast in the Lord. Trials will come, temptations will come. This is the moment of prayer for you to be strong in the Lord, strong in His might. Tell the Lord I need the power for my hour. Temptations all around, difficulties all around, dangers all around, peril all around, tempters and temptresses all around. The flesh also is waging a strong war. Whether the Lord will give you the power for your hour. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, believe. Believe the promises. I will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Believe. When you pass over the fire, I'll be with you. And so the waters, they will not draw you. Believe. I'll make you a new, sharp, threshing instrument. You'll grind the mountains to powder. Believe. I'll be with you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Believe. I give you power over all the parts of the enemy. Believe. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Believe. This mountain will not crush you. This difficulty will not destroy you. Believe! The fire of Nebuchadnezzar will not burn you up. Believe! Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. The victory is in believing. The power is in believing. The protection is in believing. The courage to conquer is in believing. Don't believe your enemy, believe the Lord. Don't believe the Nebuchadnezzar, believe the Lord. Our God is greater. Don't believe.